Struggling with high cholesterol but can't tolerate statins? You're not alone, and there might be a new option. In today's video, we're diving into Nexlitol, a non-statin medication that could help lower your bad cholesterol and reduce your risk of heart disease. Could this be the alternative you've been looking for? Let's break it down. What is Nexlitol, Bempidoic Acid? Nexlitol, also known by its generic name, Bempidoic Acid, is a prescription medication used to lower high cholesterol levels in adults. It's especially helpful for people with a genetic condition called heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, which causes very high cholesterol. Nexaltol is also used to reduce the risk of heart attacks and certain heart procedures, like stent placement, in adults who are at high risk for heart disease but cannot take statins. Nexaltol works by lowering LDLC, often called bad cholesterol. It belongs to a group of drugs called ADP citrate lyase, ACL, inhibitors. This medication blocks a specific protein in the liver that helps make cholesterol, which in turn lowers LDLC levels in the bloodstream. Nexaltol is taken as a once daily tablet by mouth. Common side effects may include increased uric acid levels and muscle spasms. Main uses of Nexaltol helps lower high cholesterol levels. Treats heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, a genetic form of high cholesterol. Reduces the risk of heart attack and certain heart procedures in adults with heart disease risk who can't take stents. How Nexaltol works Nexaltol targets a liver enzyme called ADP citrate lyase, ACL, which plays a role in producing cholesterol. By blocking this enzyme, Nexaltol slows down the body's cholesterol production. This leads to a decrease in LDLC or bad cholesterol, helping protect the heart and blood vessels over time. Side effects and safety tips for Nexaltol, Bempidoic Acid. If you're taking Nexaltol, Bempidoic Acid, it's important to be aware of possible side effects. Many side effects may improve as your body adjusts to the medication, but be sure to contact your healthcare provider if symptoms continue or worsen over time. Common side effects. These are more frequently reported and may affect a notable number of people. High uric acid levels, 16%. This can increase the risk of gout. Kidney problems, 11%. Anemia, low red blood cell count, 5%. Elevated liver enzymes, 4%. Muscle spasms, 4%. Other possible side effects. Gout, gallstones, back or stomach pain. Always let your healthcare provider know if you experience any unusual symptoms while taking Nexaltol. Helpful tips for taking Nexaltol safely. Cholesterol results take time. It may take a few months to see changes in your cholesterol. Make sure to follow up with your provider for scheduled blood tests to monitor your progress. Take it with or without food. If Nexaltol causes stomach discomfort, try taking it with food. Swallow Tabletol. Do not crush or chew. If you have trouble swallowing pills, let your provider know. There may be alternatives. Consistency matters. Take Nexaltol daily for the best results. Combine it with a heart-healthy diet and regular exercise to maximize the benefits. Ask your healthcare provider for help with meal planning or suitable exercise routines. Watch alcohol intake. Drinking alcohol can increase the risk of liver problems and may also raise cholesterol. Talk to your provider about safe alcohol limits while taking Nexaltol. Be cautious with statins. If you're taking Simvastatin, Zocor, or Pravastatin, Pravacol, don't exceed the recommended daily limits, 20 mg for Simvastatin or 40 mg for Pravastatin. Taking them with Nexaltol can increase the risk of muscle pain. Let your doctor know if you notice any unusual muscle aches. How effective is Nexaltol, Bempidoic Acid? at lowering cholesterol. Nexaltol bempidoic acid can significantly reduce LDLC or bad cholesterol in people with high cholesterol levels. In clinical studies, people taking Nexaltol saw nearly a 20% average decrease in LDLC after about three months of treatment compared to those taking a placebo. It's important to note that most people in these studies were also taking other cholesterol-lowering medications like statins alongside Nexaltol. To track your progress, make sure to follow up with your healthcare provider and get your cholesterol levels tested regularly. This will help determine how well Nexaltol is working for your individual needs. Does Nexaltol lower triglycerides? 
Nexeltol does not have a clear or consistent effect on triglycerides, which are another type of fat in the blood. In various studies, results were mixed. Some participants had slightly higher triglyceride levels, while others saw small decreases. On average, the changes were minimal, meaning Nexeltol doesn't significantly affect triglyceride levels. If you have high triglycerides, talk to your provider about other medications or lifestyle changes that might help, as Nexeltol may not be enough to manage them on its own. Is Nexeltol a statin? No, Nexeltol is not a statin. It belongs to a different class of drugs known as ADP citrate lyase, ACL, inhibitors. Like statins, ACL inhibitors help lower LDLC, but they work through a different process in the liver. In some cases, doctors may prescribe both Nexeltol and a statin together for people who need stronger cholesterol-lowering results or who cannot tolerate high doses of statins alone. Always follow your provider's guidance to find the most effective and safest combination for you. Does Nexeltol, bimpidoic acid, cause weight gain or hair loss? If you're concerned about potential side effects like weight gain or hair loss while taking Nexeltol, bimpidoic acid, here's what the research says. Weight gain and Nexeltol. Nexeltol does not appear to cause weight gain. In clinical trials, people who took the medication did not report gaining weight. In fact, a study involving individuals with diabetes or prediabetes and high cholesterol found that participants lost a small amount of weight, less than one pound on average, after three months of treatment. However, if you notice unexpected changes in your weight while using Nexeltol, it's important to speak with your healthcare provider to rule out other possible causes. Hair loss and Nexeltol. Hair loss has not been reported as a side effect of Nexeltol during clinical studies. If you do experience hair thinning or hair loss while on this medication, be sure to inform your care team. Hair loss may be related to other health conditions, stress, or medications, and your provider can help determine the cause and the best course of action. In summary, Nexeltol is not known to cause weight gain or hair loss, but always keep your healthcare provider informed about any new or unusual symptoms during treatment. If you're managing high cholesterol or exploring alternatives to statins, Nexeltol might be worth discussing with your doctor. Remember, every heart is different, and the best treatment starts with informed choices. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss out on expert-backed health insights from eInfo. Stay informed. Stay healthy.